Question 2, A. Equation 1 shows a water acting as a bronsted lorry acid. So the H2O is a proton donor. Uh, donate one proton to this uh, nitrite ion uh, to form this uh, HNO2, the nitrous acid, and the hydroxide. Uh, part 1. Identify two conjugate acid base pair in uh, equation 1. Okay, so already given the H2O here. Uh, so you need to find the conjugate base for this uh, acid one. Uh, obviously, it's the hydroxide. Uh, so because uh, H2O is a proton donor, after donate one protons, it's formed the hydroxide. So this is a conjugate base for this uh, H2O. Okay, so the acid 2, it must be on the other side, the right-hand side. So the HNO2 now is a proton donor donates one protons to hydroxide and form this uh, nitrate ion. So the acid now is HNO2. Uh, of course, the conjugate base is the, this uh, nitrate ion. Part 2. Water also behaves as a uh, bronze lauric acid when it's uh, dissolved, uh, this, uh, uh, this we call methylamine. Um, explain uh, the ability of methylamine act as a base. Uh, act as a base means uh, it's able to gain proton. Uh, why it can gain proton? Because the lone pair on the nitrogen. So this lone pair can gain the protons. Eventually, it will form this uh, 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 this uh, methyl ammonium. Um, okay, explain ability. Uh, lone pair on nitrogens can be donated to proton, or it can accept proton. Uh, so part three, write an equation to show water acting as a base with the this uh, ethanoic acid. Uh, ethanoic acid is uh, because water acting as a base, it must be the proton acceptor. And now this uh, uh, ethanoic acid is, must be the the acid which is a proton donor. So you just need to give uh, this equation. Uh, the ethanoic acid donates one proton to H2O to form this uh, carboxylate and uh, this hydronium ion. Okay, part B. The ionic products of water, KW, uh, measure uh, the extent which water dissociate. Um, so this one is the auto-ionization of water to form the hydrogen ion and hydroxide. Uh, so from this uh, figure 2.1, we know that uh, when temperature increases, uh, the Kw also is uh, increases. Uh, it's showing that uh, this uh, uh, ionization is endothermic. Why? Because when temperature increases, it will shift to the uh, this product side, right hand side, and form more ions. Because temperature increases, uh, it's try to lower the temperature uh, by absorbing it. So moving forward is to absorb the heat uh, or the lower the temperature. So therefore, uh, we from this uh, figure two point one, we we roughly know that uh, this uh, uh, auto ionization of water is must be endothermic. Okay, first, write the expression for the Kw, very easy, is the concentration of hydrogen ion times the concentration of hydroxide. Okay, part 2. Use the information in the figure 2.1 to deduce whether the dissociation of water is an endothermic or endothermic. As I told you just now, uh, it's going to be an endothermic process okay, because the Kw increases with temperature. Right? So it is uh, here. When temperature increases, right? So the Kw increases, means it's form more ions. It's try to absorb the heat uh, and uh, it's uh, form this uh, uh, hydrogen ion and hydroxide. Right. Part 3. An aqueous solution has a pH 7 at uh, 30 uh, degrees C. Use information in the figure 2.1 to explain why this solution can consider as alkaline at 30 uh, degrees C. Um, so you have you must have one concept. pH um, 
is uh, for the neutral point is always different depends on the temperature at 25 degrees C the uh, when the neutral point for the water uh, is uh, 7 but now the temperature is already 30 degrees C no longer 25 the pH is still 7 so we need to uh, verify whether this pH is uh, alkaline or is uh, acidic okay so first uh, you need to get one from one information from the uh, this uh, figure 2.1 uh, at 30 degrees C okay let's check uh, 30 degrees C here right so you can get uh, the KW KW is uh, about 1.5 here 1.5 times 10 point 14 right uh, so you get this uh, first find this one and uh, from the expression just now we know that uh, this uh, 1.5 times 10 to the 14 is equal to these two concentration uh, and another things that you need to uh, understand because it's just water uh, after it's ionized the concentration of the hydrogen ion and hydroxide they must be equal so means uh, we can assume uh, something like this so means the uh, concentration of hydrogen ion square because they have the same concentration uh, so it's equal to the the kw value just now okay square root this one you get the concentration of hydrogen ion at 30 degrees c so this one is the the we can use this one to calculate the ph negative log this will get 6.91 uh, 6.91 is the new neutral point of the water at 30 degrees c at 25 is ph7 so 25 here we get this value kw is uh, 1 times 10 power of uh, negative 14 so eventually the neutral point is 7 but the from this calculation we know that the neutral point at 30 degrees c now is changed to 6.91 so if let's say now we compare the ph here 7 and 6.9 this is relatively higher than this value so we can consider the aqueous solution here is our client. Okay, that's the uh, things you must uh, understand and know. Next, part C. The three physical state of the uh, H2O, uh, uh, they have the different standard uh, molar entropy. Uh, so for solid is uh, 48, liquid is slightly higher. Uh, is uh, 70.1 gas is the uh, highest uh, 188.7 so from here we know that uh, the gas is has the uh, the most or the highest uh, molar entropy uh, because all the particles they are freely move and more random um, now part one explain the difference in the this uh, molar entropy of the these uh, solid and the liquid uh, so we just compare these uh, ah, solids and liquid so liquid of course is uh, uh, much larger than the solid uh, you just need to explain using the, the disorder or randomness okay particles or molecules uh, since this is the uh, h2o so we can say molecules uh, molecules in the this uh, liquid it has uh, more randomness means it's freely moved uh, in the solid, uh, all the H2O, they, they are in the fixed position, uh, so therefore less random. Uh, so you just need to un answer uh, or explain like this. And uh, part two, explain why the increase in the uh, this uh, molar entropy is much greater when the H2O boils, means uh, it's from gas. Huh? Yes. Uh, so we know that uh, in solid. Uh, all the molecules in the fixed position right uh, because of hydrogen bonding uh, of course this is not really the 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 hydrogen uh, this, uh, bonding or this uh, the structure for the the water okay, just to show you the arrangement of particles when it's in solid liquid and gas uh, liquid the particles or the molecules they can move freely but it's still uh, they are together for the gas uh, most of the particles they are freely move and uh, they are more random uh, so what you need to explain is uh, 
the H2O gas it has more ways to arrange its molecules than the H2O means uh, it can go more directions huh? so therefore it's more random okay part three the energy change from the this uh, the H2O solid to the H2O liquid are shown so we have the delta G which is zero kilojoule per mole and uh, this uh, delta H is uh, positive 6.03 Use this data to show the melting point of H2O is zero. This is quite easy. Uh, again, uh, use the Gibbs uh, equation, delta G equal to delta H minus T delta S. Okay, since the delta G is given, zero, substitute into that. And the delta H is uh, 6.03. Uh, what you need to do is this one. You need to um, use the, uh, this uh, entropy, the molar entropy. Um, <clears throat> so first you need to get uh, because it's a solid and liquid so you need to use the liquid 70.1 minus um, 48 so to get the difference uh, because it's melting right melting yeah so this one uh, so you get uh, 70.1 minus 48 uh, over 1000 okay we convert the joule to kilojoule huh? times the temperature so we arrange uh, we will get uh, 273 Kelvin so which is 0 degrees C okay, so this one is uh, is uh, proven huh? part D metal air batteries are electrochemical cells that generate electrical energy from the reactions of metal anodes with air so now uh, there are two uh, standard electro potentials given. Uh, so we have the this this one and this one. Uh, so from the electro potential, we can uh, we can uh, predict or we know that uh, which one it should be ended, which one is uh, cathode. Uh, so because the second electro potential is more positive, uh, so it's more likely to gain electron, uh, and it will stay in reduction form and is a cathode. Uh, for this one, because it's more negative, so it tend to release electron, undergo oxidation, and is anode. So once you identify which one is anode cathode, you can calculate the standard cell potential, uh, inox cell. Um, so use the cathode minus anode. Cathode uh, is this one, so zero point four minus negative uh, one point two two volt. So you get uh, one point six two volt. Okay, after that, um, part two, <clears throat> the zinc air battery usually operate at uh, pH 11 uh, and uh, 298 Kelvin. And uh, cell potential, it depends on the concentration of hydroxide. Uh, the Nernst equation show, we need to use this one for calculation. Uh, calculate the electric potential uh, at uh, 11, uh, pH 11. Uh, so before you use the Nernst equation, uh, uh, this uh, to calculate the or to get the concentration of hydroxide is very important. You can use pH eleven to find out the concentration of hydroxide. Okay, so first, um, pH eleven uh, means uh, it's negative log concentration of H plus equal to eleven. Uh, so the concentration of hydrogen ion you should get uh, one times ten point negative uh, eleven. After that, you can use the Kw uh, expression because we know that Kw is equal to the concentration of hydrogen ion times the concentration of hydroxide. So therefore, the concentration of hydroxide is the Kw over the concentration of the hydrogen ion. So which will you, you will get this one. So this is the concentration of hydroxide at uh, pH 11. And you can substitute this value to the Nernst equation. So to calculate this, we need to use uh, okay, 0 0.4 minus 0 0.059 over Z. Z is uh, here. Um, uh, two electrons here. Okay, because he's uh, asking this one. Huh? So two electrons. So uh, substitutes the, uh, the concentration of hydroxide. Uh, so you should get uh, this positive 0.577 watt. Okay, that's all. Thank you.